When it comes to checking your content for accuracies, Grammarly pretty much reigns supreme, but there is one app that I noticed which could be a free alternative. It's called Wordwise AI and someone actually asked me to take a look, so let's compare it. I'll click on get started and it immediately takes me to this window. That's nice. Let me just copy paste one of my old articles which I wrote for my blog, rest in peace. And oh, okay, now I have to sign up. Why didn't you just ask me in the first place? Anyway, I created an account and uh, let's start. I'll disable Grammarly on this page so we can compare it accurately. I have to click on proofread now. It doesn't immediately start picking that up. But once it's done, you can see that it has a very similar interface to Grammarly where you can you know, click on that highlight and accept the change if you like it. And so far, I'm liking these suggestions. They're pretty good. Of course, Grammarly has gotten pretty good at this as well. It's not something unusual. Let's test it with Grammarly as well. I'll post the same content there and see what happens. Okay, Grammarly has some suggestions for me too. Of course, Grammarly has some more features like it can rewrite sentences and suggest some tones for you especially if you're using the paid account like I am. Most of the time like 9 out of 10 times I don't agree with Grammarly's you know advanced suggestions they're almost useless to me. I have a specific style of writing and I prefer it in that way and Grammarly has this rewriting tool too it's like their AI tool which you can use to improve your content and it works well like 25% of the time the rest of the time I don't like the suggestions again. So far I like the suggestions of wordwise a bit more. It's in tune with what I would write. I mean, Grammarly is a lot more elaborate, especially in the paid plan. It gives you all the tone options and stuff, but you don't really need that many options for, you know, good proofreading. And that's the selling point with Wordwise. Since it is AI powered, it will get better over time with more data. I like that there's a button on the side which you can use to accept all the changes at the same time, and it keeps those changes highlighted so you can see what's different. I like that, you know, Grammarly doesn't have those things. Once it changes it, you can't really tell what was changed unless you control Z and undo it. You know what, let's do something. I'm gonna accept all of these suggestions Grammarly is giving me and see what the Wordwise tool will give me afterwards. Okay, I've completed most of these. Let's copy it here and paste it to Wordwise. It still has suggestions for me. And uh, yeah, I do like these suggestions to be honest. Like it does make it easier to read. I'll wait for this to finish and I'll click that green tick mark again to complete this instantly. Of course, Grammarly has a plagiarism checker as well, which is one of its highlighting features. Same goes for Wordwise. It has a plagiarism checker too, but it's only for the paid version. How much is the paid version anyway? Okay, it's $9.95 per month. Uh, that's uh, that's a bit, little bit lower than Grammarly, I think. And seems like the plagiarism checker in Wordwise has some kind of a limit. That's not good. I mean, as far as I can recall, Grammarly has no such limits. And Grammarly has vastly more features when it comes to tone detection and all that, if you care. I personally found it doesn't make a huge difference, like I said. So a word Wordwise would be fine for most writers. Uh, yeah, Grammarly's annual plan when charged per month is a little bit more than the premium plan for Wordwise. So if you are planning on paying, then Wordwise may be better. But Wordwise isn't exactly for like professional writers who write a lot. It's meant for those who just want to check a few documents here and there. Grammarly has a really cool extension that works almost everywhere now. But Wordwise only seems to have limited integrations as in Microsoft Word. But I think they are off to a great start. It's worth checking out. They have a really nice summarizer tool too, which in my experience works better than anything Grammarly can put out. I don't think Grammarly has a default summarizer. You'll have to use the Grammarly Go AI tool to give it a command and even then it doesn't work accurately. So despite being a smaller product, Wordwise definitely has some strengths. And that's why I'm comfortable recommending this over Grammarly if you are not someone who uses it as much, but you could use a slightly more affordable service. As you saw, Wordwise's suggestions are a bit better than Grammarly for day-to-day -day readable text. So yes, it can replace Grammarly for most users. I'll leave a link in the description. Go take a look.